to take that, contrast that to the MLS. So they did about five years worth of research and looked at the number of sold. Okay, so you can see 2015, 16. So what I did to make it easy, and you can see the green is where we're at now. So, there, so we're seeing sort of an anomaly in March. Okay, let's look at this a little bit closer. Basically, in terms of number of homes sold in Spokane County, so now this is similar to what we do our market stats with. In other words, this is single family homes in Spokane County under an acre, because that represents like 98% of homes sold. Okay, so you can see number of sales down 38%, right? But the other thing that I wanted you guys to see is we're heading into the season, mm -hmm. right? We're heading into the season. So there's a lot of, would you say, uncertainty in the market right now, particularly amongst, particularly amongst realtors, sellers, buyers. Yeah, it's sort of like everyone's trying to figure out, whoa, 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 what the heck is going on, right? We should be seeing, historically, we should be seeing more and more inventory coming on the market right now, which satisfy, which that satisfies buyers who are aching to go out and find a home, right? Let's look at number of listings, though. Okay, this is a this is a historical average going back to 2015. I cleaned up, made it a little simpler for you. Look what happened in February and March. Down 28 percent in listings, down 44 percent. So it's typically this time of year we should see a ton more listings. Right? In this office this weekend, we had 24 offers. We had only 13 of those actually accepted. So that, that gives you a sense of how crazy this market is because the buyers are still there. They still want the homes, but when we're down this yeah, much. Let's come back and look at the point that you're making, right? So we had normal buyer activity in January, February, and then all of a sudden in March. Now, mind you, these are transactions that are closing from the previous months, right? So we want to look at like, whoa, what happened, right? Because you want to bring to your buyers, you want to bring to your sellers a level of certainty, a level of knowledge about what's going on in the market that differentiates you from everyone else who's going, gosh, what the heck happened, right? So that's why I'm doing this research for you and point out the difference. We've had relatively level buying activity up until February, March, right? But we've had radically fewer listings. Yes? Yes. yes. Why might that be? No. Gosh. Yeah. <laughs> right? Five times no more more than normal snowfall for February. Do people generally want to put their house on the market when there's a foot and a half of snow out front? Yeah. No way. Yeah. The roads are icy. Do, do other than buyers who no kidding, like I gotta buy something right now. Do casual buyers enjoy going out and looking at homes when there's a foot and a half of snow on the ground? No. Yeah. Right? Now, for those of you who are in seller mastery, I also put a, uh, just the, this is a running average of Spokane temperatures, right? I mean, so the average in February is 43. Most of the month of February, we had temperatures in the 20, in the mid 20s or below, right? So we had an unseasonably cold February at least, the rest of the months have been have been mild, but we had an unseasonably cold February, and it's impacted the housing market. Now, what does this mean for those of you who are in my seller mastery class? What does this mean for you with respect to opportunity? 